in a bid to address the lingering challenges of low girl child education and poor gender responsiveness in the country stakeholders have emphasized the need for deliberate actions from both government and private sectors to ensure gender responsive education sector planning program the report according to unicef statistical data nigeria ranks 10th among countries with the highest number of out of school children with 50 percent of girls not having access to education at the basic level stakeholders at a two-day training for media personnel on gender responsive education sector planning greps organized by plan international nigeria have stressed the need for journalists to ensure a continued promotion of the gender responsive education sector planning initiative greps means gender responsive education sector planning is actually an, a methodology and an approach to ensure that all education plans rather are gender responsive that is what we mean now we have had instances where uh, plans education plans to be specific have been developed but there are a lot of gaps as it relates to ensuring that the needs of learners all learners across board not just the female because i'm sure if we talk about gender people's thinking will move to just the female no but every learner's need is met so the boy the girl the person with disability all their needs are met so that is what grabs is all about you know the education sector plan is uh, a document that uh, outlines the activities and actions of government on what it is to do within a certain period, normally four to five years period. So uh, what we are advocating for is that um, because of the out of school of girls, uh, more of girls, though in some parts of Nigeria, boys too. So but for our state, we want to ensure that boys and girls stay in school, we want to come to school, stay and complete school and be happy to come to school. Uh, this is a critical gap in Nigeria because we have states um, who do not take good plan, who do not dedicate sufficient time to develop their own. Um, it's like strategy for solving social problems uh, when education is, is, is being um, discussed. So now, if we go a, a little deeper than just having sector uh, education sector plan, which each government, uh, whether at the national level or at state level in Nigeria should have, uh, which would have taken into consideration a proper analysis of the context of, girl, uh, of education in their state, uh, looking at boys, looking at girls, uh, preferring solutions to those issues in their plan, um, having a clear um, strategy around implementing that. But what we've seen across states is that you see states that um, if foreign agencies and development partners have not supported, supported them in, in developing uh, their education sector plan, you actually see nothing on ground. Gender responsive education sector planning is essential for promoting gender equality and social inclusion in education, addressing gender specific obstacles and ensuring every child has access to quality education regardless of gender. Stakeholders have urged the Nigerian government and private sector to develop and implement policies aimed at promoting gender responsive education sector planning initiative with a call for relevant stakeholders to work together in ensuring access to quality education for every child. Florence Joshua reporting for Clevy News Dex.